high tide covered up the whole area. So I'm not uh, interested to hold you on to this, uh, this video for too long. But since I'm uh, here, I want to use my time efficiently. And as usual, um, I'm not recording videos for other people's entertainment. So I'm not one of those, but also I'm not going to uh, try to convince you that I have uh, authority in what I'm saying. Uh, so I'm not going to dress like a shaman or I'm not going to put a white coat. So that's why I dress like a bum, like a homeless. So if you trust what I'm uh, going to say, or you don't have to trust, if you, uh, if it makes sense to you, then uh, continue listening, otherwise move on and uh, have a learning experience or an entertaining experience on the, your ne next videos. So today topic is about your body and how you could uh, change your mindset in order to help yourself maintain uh, your body for longer because uh, the body is designed to last you a number of years and is designed to take a number of challenges and uh, environment pressures and uh, abuse but uh, that balance which is a pretty good balance of this uh, machine uh, can be easily turned upside down and uh, you have to get some sort of external help like a healthcare professional to look after your, your machine, your body. So, uh, I'm trying to make this video shorter but uh, it's a lot, of, uh, a lot of talking about this thing and here it's a pretty cool area especially if you bring kids uh, I don't know if I mentioned this shells host a soul so if you are not a religious person what's a soul uh, a soul is it's a special energy special form of encoded energy that has a higher level of intelligence that can see in the past that can see in the future and it's using this uh, suit I'm going to call it suit your body uh, including this little creature suit this shell it's another suit that is helping that little soul this creature soul uh, to survive into this earth environment so if you go to different geographical area on earth you will find creatures that have different type of body, different type of suit that are suiting or that are suited to have that sort of uh, life energy to explore that specific area. Now 
if we look at other creatures here, like I said, the shells or the birds, you know, they uh, they were not designed uh, without birds. So, look at the creators, look at what I really do for If you are a spiritual person, or even for a non-believer, still believes into that evolutionary theory, that comes up with theory, which I used to believe in that. Uh, if you are into that, think that everything you have here, everything. So this is my limited view of my world at this point in time, because I'm right here. If I transport my body with my eyes, which is, are the senses that help me to see, if I transport this body somewhere outside this planet, I would see, I would have different view. Okay, and so if you think that you could see this Earth, this uh, solar system, and zooming out this uh, uh, constellation and zooming more out, out, out you would see this dim dimension as a limited space limited space everything was made out of uh, a certain amount of energy uh, if we think as uh, human beings through our limited experience we don't see it that way because you, we, all we see here at, from our level is limitless. Everything is infinite. Uh, everything can be wasted because it's a lot. But if you zoom out, zoom out, and you see this dimension we are in, even you you believe uh, there is a infinite universe we are into a, a material universe and i let you believe whatever you want i'm not going to try to dismantle your the belief system but if you zoom out and you see let's say your your known universe or even unknown universe uh, you have to think or you could think that uh, there was an amount, a limited amount of energy. So nothing is unlimited here. According to the conservation of the energy theories, which could be expanded to uh, one single dimension. So nothing can be wasted. It was uh, from that level of creation, uh, it was a limited amount of energy. Or that creator came out with this thought. So that uh, that uh, entity uh, knew that the energy being used to create whatever is around planets, uh, sub solar systems, or uh, other star systems, then uh, the zooming into other details, the, uh, the dirt you see, the plants you see, everything, everything at, including at the microscopic level, at the atomic and subatomic level, everything that was made here for a certain purpose uh, required a certain amount of energy. And when someone is using a limited amount of energy, create something material or uh, immat immaterial, uh, that entity will have conservation law in, in mind, so will not try to waste anything. So I'm going back, so I'm not going to expand to that direction because it might take me several, several hours to talk about this topic, but coming back to the concept that your body was designed with a saving of resources in mind. You cannot be wasting resources you, you get around. I mean, you, you could, but what happens according to the law of, of those who created the whole system here, because those who created the system, the whole system you see around, or the system that you don't see from high up or from some distance, time and space, those entities created 
laws that the system working is working around. So it's not like uh, okay, we create something and everything is uh, based on no rules. Okay, and so everything is based on certain laws, like uh, gravity goes by uh, certain rules, a uh, pressure, temperature, the conservation of energy. So everything here was created based on certain rules. So you got this body suit that uh, is supposed to use certain amount of resources. And what's the purpose of, uh, of this bodysuit? Is to help this mind, let's say, soul, that it's some sort of a intelligent type of energy, uh, to explore the environment this, this mind wants to be in. So, some of the uh, souls were designed to appear in this dimension. Areas on Earth. First, there are other souls who were designed to appear on different other planets that can support uh, certain um, uh, certain body suits. But each suit is designed for certain environments. So you won't see a, a child popping on Mars child we know a child with a body like ours because that child won't survive and uh, again I won't go into religions aspects of this uh, topic and how the child or the new soul comes into life into material form from where that soul comes from and I'm not going to debate or start an explanation maybe on another video but Somehow, let's say without getting into detail, somehow we get into these uh, these bodies, which I like I said, I'm going to call them a uh, earth suit because they are designed to help the mind to explore earth. And each other creature you see around uh, that has life in it has a. Uh, a specific type of design so birds have their own body suit that are helping them to explore multiply and feed themselves in a certain geographical area uh, ants bees but everything is connected so they are not just uh, a uh, material forms of life uh, scattered all over the place Everything is connected. All these have all these creatures have a special mission, and like I said, they are embodied into this material form. But this material form needs to be maintained. So if if you got a spacesuit and if you were sent to Mars, guess what? If you don't maintain your suit, if you don't if you neglect your suit, like people do with their cars. Uh, or people do with their uh, airplanes or something, that suit is going to fail or let you down uh, unexpectedly or, or when you where, where you need it the most. So think that way. If you if you got this body, this space suit or earth suit, uh, you got it uh, for a certain reason. So you didn't get it to waste resources or for own entertainment so entertainment it's 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 all right as long as it's a learning ex entertainment learning experience and it's part of your mission or maybe uh, helps your mind uh, take breaks from uh, whatever purpose you have here but you're not supposed to so I don't think you are designed here to waste those resources I was talking about, resources that are limited. So if you have that mentality and if you were put, or is, you sign up for a mission on Mars, and if you don't change the mentality, you get on Mars and 
uh, three months later uh, your new body suit or astronaut suit is going to fail why because you did not change your mindset your mentality so the idea is that if you want to be healthy and stay healthy and if you are at this point in your life if, if you're not well your uh, body is not uh, helping you or is failing because of your own mistakes you have to change your mentality otherwise uh, you won't be able to enjoy the uh, the mission here and uh, again if you think that you know uh, we as a human race we messed up we neglected this environment we were put into uh, and if we think that we leave uh, uh, our dumpster and garbage behind and we take on on a new planet guess what without changing the mentality at the individual level a, uh, the next generation of uh, explorers going to Mars are not going to survive more than a couple of years including even even they uh, they will get enough supplies and oxygen and whatever it re is required to maintain their uh, uh, astronaut suit and uh, their own body which is underneath right so it starts with your mentality if you want to get healthy think that this body you got here is not for granted and I wish um, everyone thinks in a healthier way this year 2019 go for a walk like I did today and enjoy everything is set for you everything was created for you to explore and I think that nothing can be wasted right so you start at your individual level then uh, set an example for your kids or for your community and um, enjoy life and if people want to follow your leadership that's great if not uh, at least you make the best out of your body your suit and uh, out of your limited life you, you got here because maybe next life your soul will be on different planet on different suit and unfortunately you won't remember much of the experience you got you have right now here on earth so you won't be able to learn the mistakes from the mistakes and uh, yeah i hope you will make the best out of your day take care bye bye